points now so that we can uh, hopefully move along and let everybody have an opportunity to speak. Hi, I'm, I'm Sandra Wright. I live in Mount Vernon, Maine, and I'm speaking only for myself. And thank you for the opportunity for me to be able to speak to you in opposition to open pit my, uh, metal mining in Maine. This, you may recognize me, I don't know, this is the third time I have attended a meeting of the Board of Environmental Protection to discuss uh, the regulation since 2012 um, that was passed. Um, and I began to speak in 2013 and stated that in 2012, um, when the state legislator passed the new uh, mining regulation, that I began to have a nightmare. Um, and now I'm back for the third time, and so the nightmare is recurring. Um, the latest attempt to, to allow open pit mining regulations has changed them, but the question remains, why does the DEP think that there's not a problem in having open pit mining in our state? A state with as much water in the form of lakes and streams, rivers and aquifers um, as we have, we're at risk the same as any other state in our country. In the United States alone, government and company data document 40 existing mines that will contaminate 17 to 27 billion gallons of water every year forever. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's Toxics Release Inventory, metal mining is the nation's number one toxic polluter. We already know about this in our, in our own state. Um, in uh, Maine, the Kara American um, mine leaked 10 to 20,000 pounds of zinc per year. And almost 40 years after the mining ended, I had to, you had to, the taxpayers had to pay to have it cleaned up by capping it. And it still has to be monitored every year to make sure the cap is working. The Callahan mine hasn't been cleaned up after 40 years at a cost of 23 million, and I understand it's really 45 million dollars from what I learned today, of taxpayers' money. Neither of these mines made enough money, except for by their owners, to justify the expense to taxpayers or the results of the pollution they cause. Um, if the reason um, for allowing open pit mines in Maine is to provide jobs, that doesn't happen. Um, they, in uh, the Care American mine, were promised two to 300 jobs for the area's people, and they actually only had 100 jobs for approximately five years. Um, our, the economic benefit of the natural resources in Maine is tremendous. According to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, fishing alone brought $257 million to Maine in 2006, and I understand it's been even more since then. Just to end, nobody in Las Vegas would make a bet that an open pit mine will not fail. There are too many failures of the percentage of mines in our country to bet that a new one won't fail. When they do fail, history has shown that the mining company doesn't even come close to having the money to clean up the mess. In fact, they tend to go bankrupt and leave the state and the federal taxpayers to clean up their mess and the mess can last in perpetuity. And since this is the third time that I've come, I ended by asking why are we even discussing this again? Thank you. <laughs>